Hi everyone and uh, welcome to today's Qigong live class. It's Sunday and it means we are live as usual. So uh, today's session is going to be 30 minutes long. We're going to do some gentle stretching, some gentle uh, lower back uh, twists and bends to open safely the joints, increase the blood flow and just simply feel good and energized. So go ahead and get ready. Uh, I'm here in my living room. So you can be in your bedroom, in your hotel room or anywhere you are right now. So just enough space for you to kind of spread your hands. I'm going to do some uh, stretching at the top. So find a comfortable place. Okay. And um, we're going to begin in a comfortable standing position. Slightly bend your knees. Make sure in position. Slightly bend your knees. Make sure that the weight of the body is evenly distributed on both feet. Relax your lower back, maybe even gently open your belly. Relax your neck and shoulders and let the hands naturally hang by the sides. Stay here for just a few seconds to adjust the position and find what feels good. Great, so we begin, bring your hands together and rub. We want to generate heat, increase the blood flow to the hands and the fingers. So spend here maybe 30 to 40 seconds. And bring your attention to the center of the palm. So when you Rub your hands together, really feel like the heat begin to kind of penetrate through and really warms up your hands. Okay, so when you begin to feel the heat, then take the heat and rub the outside of your hand, the fingers, the back side. And then do the same on your right hand. Very good. Then we're going to gently massage the soft part, the soft bit between the big thumb and the rest of the fingers. So you may feel a little sensitive area there. Just give it a few seconds of a gentle rub. Okay, and do the same on the other hand. So you may feel that it's almost like a little something there. So spend a few seconds to work it out. Okay, then come back and rub your hands again. And then we're going to the wrist. So just with your warm hand already, Wrap around your wrist and gently begin to massage that area. It's a great way to start your practice, especially if your hands are cold or you don't really feel like, you know, kind of moving. So it helps to self-massage, really helps to uh, get in the mood, increase the blood flow and it's just kind of instantly helps you to warm up the body and get you ready for the practice. Then we do the same on the other hand. So about 30 to 40 seconds until you begin to feel the warmth. Okay, that's probably enough. And then release your hands down and take a moment here to notice how your fingers feel. Feel awake, feel warm, full. Very good. And then we're going to take with the right hand, I want you to do, kind of slide and stroke your left arm on the other side. So begin to warm up the joints. 
warm up the muscles a bit on the front on the inner side and then come up do around the joint the shoulder and the back of the shoulder if you can reach it just not too hard not too vigorously and your own pace but just give it a good squeeze and kind of wash okay a few more seconds and then let go release your hand down and begin to notice how the body responds so the difference between the left hand the one we just massaged and the right hand the right hand feels empty, feels almost dead. And the left hand, the one we just massaged, feels fuller, feels alive. So remember those sensations. That's what you want to work towards. So that kind of sense of fullness and life inside the body. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same. On the other hand. So begin gently rubbing up and down. Apparently this exercise is called a dry bath. So apart from increasing the blood flow and warming up the joints, it's also good for skin and ethnicity. So it's one of those things that like one of those ancient things that's still around up to this day. So you can do that a bit on the inside. And then the, around the shoulder. kind of listen to your body what it needs right now so if you want a good squeeze you can squeeze if you want to stroke you can stroke okay and then last time and relax your hands down okay so if you feel nice and full feel the sensations in your arms Very good. Then we're going to take nice deep inhale through the nose, all the way up. And then exhale through the sides. Inhale up, open the chest. Exhale down. Twice more like that. And last one here. Very good. Okay, float both hands forward to about shoulder height and gently push in front of you so your fingers are nice and spread and you have a little stretch in your arm tendon. So hold here for just a few seconds with me. And then release down. One more time. Float up and press out. Spread your fingers. Hold, hold, hold. And then release down. And notice how the tension changes with relaxation. So the when you stretch it out and then when you relax, it's a different feeling. So kind of listen and observe. Inhale to the sides, extend your hands, and then we're going to do the same. So press out, spread the fingers, and open your chest. Breathe normally, do not hold your breath. And then gently release down. One more time. Inhale, 
stand. Nice, powerful position. And then exhale, relax and let go. And we're going to do the same in the back. So with your palms, gently open in the chest and press out as if you're kind of pushing the wall with both hands. Hold, hold, hold. Just enough for you to feel the shoulder blades squeezing together and then release down. One more time. Inhale, open and stretch. Hold, 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 and then release down. Okay, so by now your hair, your whole upper body should feel nice and warm. And then we're going to stretch upward. So lengthening the spine, kind of growing up towards the sky, reaching up. So again, the wrists are flexed. And we're gently trying to reach up and then release down. But this time, keep your hands just above your head. One more time. Press out. And then completely relax down. Very good, okay? Then interlock your fingers. We're going to inhale, turn the hands and reach up. Okay, and then gently slow, slowly turn to one side. Again, a nice low back twist. Your knees are fairly straight. Just hold here for a few seconds. And then slowly release. Keep your hands there if you can. Otherwise, let them relax by the side. And we're going to turn to the other side. Again, hold in that posture. Relax. And this time, release down. Okay, so now feel like your spine and the lower back is gently relaxing after a nice stretch. Okay, hands together again. We're going to inhale, press out just like we did. And at this time, we're going to turn the hands down and follow the hands forward bend. Just enough for you to kind of feel a gentle stretch at the back of your thighs and your lower back. Do not pull yourself all the way to the down all the way to the ground that's not really the point we want to gently open those hamstrings open and relax the lower back turn your hands up slowly raise up go up and lengthen your spine reach up towards the sky exhale down keep your hands here and dive forward. Inhale, go up. Hands are close together. Exhale, press out and stretch. And the last one. Exhale down. Keep your back nice and straight. And then inhale and gently go up. Get to the chest and release the hands down. Okay. Just gentle stretch for the lower back. So place your hands on the lower back. I'm going to kind of gently warm up the area. Just loosen up a little bit more before we go ahead and do other exercises, okay? So I like to do by gently kind of squeezing, also with the back of the hands, 
you can do a circle movement. That helps to improve the blood flow up and down the spine, as well as kind of foster the kidney health, which is essential in Qigong. So doing that every morning is gonna eliminate maybe the back pain, or so discomfort or just overnight stiffness if you have any. So okay, very good. Relax your hand. Stand up nice and tall. And the next we're going to do a simple hip rotation. So after the lower back exercise, you may feel a little uh, increase in range of motion. So your lower back should be nice and relaxed. So gently rotate your hips clockwise. And then pause and go in the opposite direction. Okay. That helps to open the channels down the legs, increase the blood flow, especially if you are having a kind of sitting down lifestyle or driving a lot. Well, that's a great way to loosen up the hip joints and increase the blood circulation in the lower part. Okay, last two, gently Very good. And then we're going to bend the knees and slowly begin rotating the knees. Your feet are parallel. So when you go down, the weight is evenly distributed. You don't put too much pressure on one ankle or one foot. So keep it balanced, keep it flowing. And Gently circle. Okay, one more time and then pause at the top and rotate in the opposite direction. Okay, very good. Last one here and gently come up. Again, after every exercise, take a moment to observe how your body feels. If there's any changes, any tensions that disappeared, any kind of, you know, pleasant sensations. So it's all part of the uh, connecting with yourself, connecting with the body, and it's also going to help you with your practice. So going on, we're going to put our feet together, relax the upper body, open your belly and relax the lower back. We're going to take a nice deep inhale and slowly with your knees together, slowly go down. So but like just, just enough for you kind of to feel that your legs, muscles are tense. And then stay here for just a few seconds. All that pressure on those legs, your lower back is nice and relaxed. And slowly raise up. Lock your knees and completely relax the whole body. Inhale, go down. But do not hold your breath. 
continue breathing all the time nice and soft nice and easy feel those legs and then gently release okay one more time go down and release up again observe notice how the tension changes with relaxation and a completely different sensation uh, arise in the body okay so shake off your legs warm up your hands so that was our warm-up done keep your feet parallel the hands are nice and relaxed and we're going to inhale through the sides open the chest nice big inhale so then flex your wrist bend your knees and gently press out reach up so you can feel the gentle stretch all the way from your heels to the center of your palms and then exhale down releasing and softening one more time inhale go up then we're going to exhale press out reach up inhale as you spiral your hands and then big long easy exhale down Inhale up. Exhale, push out. Inhale again. And exhale, relax down. Last one here. Inhale up. Exhale and press out. Inhale. And then exhale down. Very good. Place both hands in front of you. We're going to inhale, open the hands to the side first. Then turn your palms facing upward and slightly kind of pointing at the back. And look behind your shoulder and gaze as far as you can behind your shoulder. Then gently release, come back to center and do the same on the other side. So inhale and open. Exhale and release. Inhale and open. Exhale and release. Inhale and open. Exhale and come back. One more time on each side. This exercise helps to open the chest and tonify the lungs so we can breathe deeper and more effortlessly. Relax and release. Very good. The next exercise is good for digestion. It helps to stimulate the stomach and spleen and promotes a healthy blood flow in the 
uh, in this area. So we're going to inhale, bring both hands to about half level. And then we're going to separate the hands. One hand will go up, another hand will press down. So make sure that your palm is facing upward and your fingers are pointing to the other side. Opening the sides of the body, nice, lengthening, and then release down, bring both hands so they meet in the middle, and then change hands. Okay. So we do that four times on each side. Exhale down. So don't forget about the breathing. Every time you inhale, open and stretch the body. Every time you exhale, release and soften. One more time. And the last one. And just release your hand down gently. Relax the whole body. Again, take a moment here to notice how you feel, to notice and observe the sensations in the body especially the neck and shoulders, down the arms, down the spine, the lower back, and into the legs. The whole body is, should be quite responsive, warm, cooled. Very good. Okay, the next one we're going to inhale. And then exhale in the center, bring both hands down to about abdomen. Then turn on your palms, place them on the lower back. And here's the thing, we're going to inhale and gently push the lower back forward. So you have a nice kind of arch. And then exhale, release and bend forward. But at the same time, your hands will slide down all the way and touch your toes. So don't worry if you can't go as low. You can stop at your calves, you can stop at your knees. So as long as you keep the kind of flow and movement and your lower back is nice and relaxed, okay? So go all the way down. And then when you inhale, slowly raise up with your hands sliding at the front. And then finishing at the abdomen. So nice deep inhale, exhale down, inhale, push forward, exhale, forward bend, slide all the way down if you can, and then gently raise up. Finishing at the abdomen. Let's do it twice. Exhale. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, go up. 
keeping your back nice and straight and then exhale relax your whole body very good relax your hands by the side and the last movement from for today we're going to it's called turn around and look at the moon so we're going to float both hands forward and then gently shift the weight on one leg and turn and loop behind as far as you can your eyes look at the pointing at the same direction as your hands and then release come back to center inhale go up and this time turn to the other side release come back inhale and turn so we're mainly turning our torso and our hips just enough to feel a gentle twist in the in the spine so be mindful of your own mobility range you know keep the movement nice and pleasant enjoy the movement exhale down and last one here Very good. Relax your whole body. And then we're going to take nice deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale in the center. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. And when you exhale, release every muscle of your body. Release the tension, release the stress if you have any. And just kind of soften and melt down. So with every with each breath, kind of imagine how your body is filled with fresh air, with fresh energy, with goodness and vitality. And every time you exhale, release and let go. Relax your face, relax your neck and shoulders, relax down the back. Relax your chest and the sides of the body. Open your belly. Relax your hips and thighs. Relax your knees. And let everything just kind of soften. Inhale. Exhale down. And then place your hands on the lower abdomen. Close your eyes. Relax your lower back. Soften your knees. And notice how the, the warmth from the hands kind of penetrates through and warms up the inside of the body. Nice, pleasant feeling of comfort of peace, of harmony. You feel nice and relaxed. Okay. If you have time, if you feel good, you can stay here a little longer for five or ten minutes. It's, uh, you can use it as a meditation to kind of cleanse the body, wash it away and let everything kind of get down into the ground. Otherwise, thank you very much for joining me today. It's, uh, it's been a joy and a pleasure and I hope to see you next time. Have a good week.